I think I have read somewhere, and I'm paraphrasing here, that you you think everyone or any comedy writer should sort of do a tour of duty, if possible, <laughs> at at SNL for a period of time. I'm sure a lot of more people would like to than can. But what what were some of the lessons learned, for for lack of a better way to phrase it? So many. I do believe that, by the way. I think that if everyone who worked in Hollywood had to work for one year at SNL, in general, things would be a lot better. So from a creative standpoint, the thing that SNL teaches you is to not be precious with your own material. You generally have about four minutes to do whatever you're going to do, right? Like with rare exceptions, you're talking about four minutes. And so you write a sketch and it's five minutes and 38 seconds long. And you go in with a red pen and you just make giant X's on your script, like cut this, <laughs> cut this, cut this, this didn't work, change this. And, and after doing that every week for you know seven years, there's almost no joke or piece of writing that I could put into a script that I would think that cannot be cut. Like it just trains yeah. you to say anything can be cut. And if it improves what you're doing, then cut it. And I think that's a really hard lesson for some people to learn, especially when, it, depending on where those people, where people come from, what their backgrounds are, if, if you grow up in a system, I mean, creatively grow up in a system that doesn't train you not to be precious with your own material, and then you achieve any kind of success, you are almost always way too precious about your material because you have this sort of personal belief that you, you did this alone it's, you know, you know, you figured it out, you crack the code and how dare anybody tell me to cut this or cut that or how dare the, these executives think that this is too long. And as a result, you know, you can look around right now uh, on your streaming service of choice and you can find a lot of shows and movies where you think to yourself, that was about 25 minutes too long. Like that, I liked it. It was good, but man, why was that so long? And the answer is, is almost always like they just didn't get tough enough on their own material. Yeah. So SNL is just ruthless about that. It just doesn't. SNL is like a, Lorne Michaels has many aphorisms that he likes to dole out to you and as you sit at his feet and he, he dispenses his wisdom. But one of the things he has been saying for, I think, about 50 years is, the show doesn't go on because it's ready. The show goes on because it's 11.30 on Saturday night. And <laughs> that ethos sort of permeates everything and it, and it reinforces this idea that like you just, you work on it and work on it and work on it until it's done and then you're done. But, you know, the level of success you have with any individual sketch is a little bit up to whether or not, it's, it's based on whether or not you are tough enough on your own material. So that's a great lesson. That's a really, really wonderful lesson for a writer of any kind to learn. Another thing it teaches you, and by the way, I should note, if you meet and work with anyone who went through the SNL gauntlet of fire, everybody has that same, that same sort of attitude toward their own material. So when you're talking about an actor like Andy Samberg, so my friend Dan Gore and I created Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Andy Samberg, we got Andy Samberg to, to star in it. Andy Samberg was a very well-known and beloved comedian and was pretty famous on his own right, thanks to his own work. And yet, when we would show him cuts of Brooklyn episodes in the early days, he would go like, I'm bad in this scene. Cut me out of this. Cut this. Cut my joke here. It doesn't work. Cut this. Cut this. It's a very rare star of a TV show who will say, cut my material. <laughs> you know, like that's not the typical attitude for like number one on the call sheet, star of the show, guy on the poster. Usually those people are like, wait, I want more. I want more. Put me in this more. Put my face on TV more. People who went through SNL judge comedy and material based on only like, is this good? Is it funny? Does it work? Is it fast? Is it quick? Is it enjoyable? That's a wonderful trait in a producer slash actor. Amy Poehler's the same exact way. Like the, so everybody who goes through this system has this sense of like, it's not about me, it's about the end product. And if the end product is made better by removing me or removing scenes I'm in or lines that I have or jokes that I have, then remove them. Like, cause that's the, the we, we all win if this thing is better. So 
There are other ways you can learn those lessons. SNL is just a particularly blunt force <laughs> trauma way to do it. <laughs> it's a very like, it's a very intense kind of like, like sledgehammer to the head over and over again that kind of drills this idea into you. 